Chef Buck here, and today we're going to have Mocha Potalooza because we have a treasure trove of mocha pots. You know, what I'm used to is this little dinky do mocha pot. Not this particular uh, brand. These are all different brands of mocha pot. This here is like a two to three cup mocha pot. This is a six cup mocha pot, and this is a nine cup mocha pot, which sounds like a lot. But when you make coffee with a mocha pot, it's concentrated coffee. It's very strong coffee. If you like strong coffee, then you might like a mocha pot. You know, if you don't like that uber rich, thick, strong coffee, then a mocha pot's probably not for you. Because when they say like this is a six cup mocha pot, I mean, you're not gonna get what you think of as six cups of coffee out of there. Basically, it's gonna make this much coffee. This is all the liquid that you're gonna put in this mocha pot. You're saying, well, that's not six cups but they're talking about espresso cups. You know, the little dinky cups that the mobsters drink at the Italian restaurants when they're talking about whacking some guy? It's those little dinky do cups. But this is what we're gonna use today because we're gonna make two cups of coffee. One for camera girl and one for me. You know, because I make kind of a cafe au lait, which is sort of half super strong coffee and half milk. You know, when you go to like a Starbucks and you get an Americano, you know, that's espresso mixed with hot water. Because basically we're making espresso. We're making espresso without an espresso machine. When you go to Starbucks, you know, you got the giant gargantuan thing about Bobby Jig, you know, sputing out the little shot of strong coffee. Well, you can make that on your stovetop with this. Although it's not gonna be nearly as strong, but it'll be strong enough. But all these mocha pots are kind of the same scientifically. You know, you got a bottom chamber, where you put your hot water, you know, you fill it up to the little uh, valve right here, and then scientifically it heats up, and then it passes through the coffee inside of a filter, and then percolates into the top right here. So you unscrew it, and this is where your coffee's gonna go, in this little filter here. It's all contained. Everything you need is right here. You don't need to add a paper filter of any sort. But these are kind of bigger holes than you're gonna get with a paper filter. So you don't wanna use a very finely ground coffee because then the, some of that coffee sludge will get up into your coffee. So you wanna use kind of a medium grind. You wanna fill this chamber with water all the way up to the pressure valve line right there. Then you'll set this in here and fill this with coffee just to the top and you don't want to compact it down and then we'll screw on this top here and then the, the water will boil up through this filter pass through the coffee into this filter and then bubble up through this chamber right here and when at the end of it you'll clean it up and it'll be in these five different pieces so you'll have the top piece right here and you'll take this little filter off right here then there's a rubber gasket right there. Your little coffee chamber. And that's how it'll all go together. And we're gonna use hot water to fill it up because you wanna start with hot water because it'll cut the brewing time down just a little bit. It's about right where I need it, right to the fill line there, right at that pressure valve. So now we'll put in our little coffee chamber and I'm gonna spoon some freshly ground coffee in here. And this is a medium grind. You don't want to use too fine a ground because you want the coffee to percolate through here and pass through it kind of easily. I'm making a mess, but that's okay. Because if you're not making a mess, then you're not a human being. And you don't get more human than this. So I'm not tamping it down or anything. I'm just gonna screw on my top. Give it a little nice tight twist at the end, but you don't have to over tighten it because we're gonna be taking this apart to clean it. So now we just have to create heat on the bottom and then science will do the rest. Now we're gonna turn on our burner and I'm gonna use the smallest burner that I have on the stove here. And I'm gonna put it on medium heat. You know, you wanna be careful not to have this handle under the flame because this handle will melt. So now we'll go ahead and leave this alone and it'll take about five minutes for the water to heat up and then it'll brew and percolate up through this opening right here. So we'll keep an eye on it, and I'll leave the lid open here so we can see when it starts. Uh, but we'll be back in about five minutes or whenever it starts to boop, boop, beep, 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 beep. It's starting to make some gurgling noises. Now it's coming up. Volcano! 
Oh. It's pouring up through the bottom chamber, through the coffee, up through those little funnels. And now it's kind of pouring out like liquid gold. This is just like that scene in the Beverly Hillbillies. And this is why you don't want to have it too high because you don't want it sputtering out and making a mess. You can have the lid down. And then when it's finished, you'll hear that gurgling stop. And once it starts to percolate and brew up through the coffee, it just takes a few moments. Alrighty, let's take a peek. You want to make sure and not leave it on the stove after it has finished percolating through. So we can go ahead and turn our burner off. And then that's it. Now we got our coffee. It's all ready, steady, freddy. So basically we brewed up one cup of coffee about this size and that's perfect for two cups for camera girl and I because uh, we like to make it half milk and half this strong coffee. So I'm gonna go ahead and put a little bit of cream in my coffee cup, probably just a little bit less than half. And I'm just gonna heat it up. That makes all the difference. Heated oh yeah, milk. you gotta add hot milk to your coffee for a cafe au lait. It's not like adding cold milk to coffee. Alrighty, so I got my cup of steaming milk. I'm gonna pour about half of my coffee in here. Making a mess. That's right. And this is a delicioso, creamy, dreamy cafe au lait. It's the perfect amount for me. And then we got enough in there for one more cup of this. So if you're looking for the right size mocha pot for two people to make two cups of coffee, just like this here, get the six cup mocha pot. It's perfect for two cups of cafe au lait. Where's mine, Buck? Now, once your pot's cooled down a little bit, you can go ahead and clean it quite easily. Basically, we just want to take it apart. Now, if your coffee is ground too fine, you'll have a lot of sludge in here. And that way you'll know you need to grind it a little coarser next time. But you just want to unscrew it. And then you want to empty your coffee grounds. And then clean this. Then you can also take out the rubber gasket and the bottom filter here. And you just want to wash everything with soap and water and dry it and then put it back together again. That's all there is to cleaning your mocha pot. Not much of a pain in the butt at all, really. But you're a pain in the butt. I'm going to go ahead and uh, make a Camera Girl Cafe au lait. Uh, we'll have a link down below over to our website over at myfoodchannel.com. You can find out some more mocha pot information over there. I also have links uh, to our travel channel uh, down below. You know, you can find out about house sitting, which is what we're doing right now. We've got a Patreon. We got a PayPal donation link. We've got a podcast. We got all kinds of stuff. Links down below. Thanks for watching and subscribing. We'll see you in the future. Bye-bye.